Hello, my name is Tom Hardy. And I'm Riz Ahmed. And we're going to teach you some English slang. Do one's nut in. See, if someone's uh, crazy, they're a nutter. Mm. So it does your nut in. You're doing my nut in. Literally, doing the something skull in is damaging. Feels it. like it is caving in. Doing right. someone's nut in is the same as doing someone's head in. It means it just annoys you. Numpty. Numpty means kind of what it sounds like, someone who's a bit stupid, but in a generally harmless way, but pretty annoying way. Numpty can also up the ante in a violent predicament, because if you call a very big person a numpty, you are really pushing the remit. To be fair, if you call a very big person any of the words on this list, we can't be held responsible for the outcome. Next one is chief. Now, maybe we should describe uh, what a chief is by naming people who we think are chiefs. <laughs> And then people will understand what a chief is. I would say Ricky Gervais's character in The Office is a template of a chief. Mm. Who else is a chief? There were so many, but they also fall into the numpty bracket as well. They do. Numpty and chief is like the Venn diagram overlaps quite a lot. Somewhat. Actually. It's like a lance corporal and a corporal. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. I think the chief is a step up from a numpty. Yeah, absolutely. So chief is someone who thinks they're funny, but they're not. Bait. As in, stop doing that, the police will catch you. That's bait. Ah, yes, Tom, don't out. smoke that right now, the police are coming, it's bait. Rog, Rog. Oh, did you see that guy walked in with a bright yellow jacket? That was bait. Bait move. Bait is someone who is shamelessly unsubtle in what they are doing or how they are behaving. Like my acting. The next one is peng. Now peng is, a lot of the words on this are kind of ye oldie slang. I'm so, a bit old for this one. Yeah, I'll explain this one to you, Tom. Thank you. So, um, if a girl walks down the street and yeah. you think, wow, she's very beautiful, yeah. then you might go, if something is uh, desirable in any way, then you would use the word peng to describe it, like a painting. Allow it. Now, allow it, you actually pronounce it without the A, so you just say, allow it. When you say allow it, what you're basically saying let is, let it go, man. Just let it go, allow it. Yeah, man, allow that. So let's say, you know, allow you're that an as altercation, well. and allow. you just be like, what would you say? What would you say? And your friend will come up to you and go, allow it, man, allow it. Let allow it, go, it. man. Let it allow go. Let's it. move on. Let's allow move on. It. So if you just want to kind of, uh, Tom, are you going to be doing the rest of this interview? You're going to allow, allow it. that, man. You're just going to allow it. Legless. Legless was played by Orlando Bloom. Oh, yeah. In Lord of the Rings. You've got pointy yeah. ears and long blonde hair. Yes, legless means you're very, 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 very drunk. Taking a Richard. I've got no idea what I know mean. this one. What is that? What's Richard going on? the Third. Heard. And Richard III was obviously an evil king who killed the boys in the tower. So he did, right? So he was somewhat of a turd. And that's Richard the third turd. If I was going to the restroom to take a Richard, then I was gonna do my ablutions. What is Cockney rhyming slang as you understand it to be? Well, you know, it's it's a it's, it's a sentence of words and then the rhyming word is one that is missing. So let's say Apples and pears. Stairs. Wow, who'd have known it? So sometimes you have to work out what's going on, even as a Londoner. Do you know what I mean? Dog myself. and bone. Phone. Oh, I swear, our country has the best Sweet. slang. I just want to take a minute to say that. Yes. Skint. Brassic. Brassic lint skint. Brassic lint because there's just lint in your pockets because you're skint. And skint means you are broke. You don't have any money. No money. Take the mickey. Taking the mickey, you or just abbreviated to take the mick. Affectionate term for being derogatory about someone and getting away with it. Take yeah, the piss, the really. It's the same as taking the piss. You're having a laugh, you're having a bubble. A rosa. Cop. The rosa, the cops, the, the feds. The police. The next one is plonker. Which is there with numpty and plum. Yeah, very And pill similar. And, uh, and plank. You know, it's an affectionate term to call somebody a noddy or a wally or a plum or a pill. There's affectionate terminology whereby you don't get yourself struck immediately or can raise the game of a fight very quickly with a professional yeah, fighter. It's like a gentle, you know, slap on the cheek. Not if it's a professional fighter, it's actually deeply. Don't slap the cheek. Because you didn't call him a big name, you just called him a wally or a cheese puff. At Her Majesty's Pleasure, Her Majesty's Prisons, HMP, so, uh, you know, you're detained at Her Majesty's Pleasure, that means that Indefinitely. You've, been, you've, been, you've been jailed. So you never get a parole date. Hey, this is a nice and innocent one. Chuffed, which like means you're we happy. Are. We are right now. Right now, we're chuffed. We're chuffed. We're well chuffed we're to be chuffed here with you. We're chuffed to be in Venom, be here with you. So, I was Tom Hardy. I was Riz Ahmed. And I hope you learned some British slang. <laughs>